for a music review, and this is the 2017 uh, album Americana by Ray Davis. Now, I recently went back to this album. I did, of course, listen to it when it came out, but it left it sort of uh, on figuratively on the shelf, really. And I've come back to it in the last a couple of months, and I've been constantly playing it, um, and it's a wonderful, a wonderful piece of work. Let's go into a little bit of background for first British songwriter Ray Davis. Well, uh, he, of course, uh, was the lead singer and writer and guitar player in the influential band The Kinks. And he grew up fascinated with American music and cinema. The Kinks he formed with his brother Dave in the 60s. And they were initially heavily influenced by American musical styles, particularly rhythm and blues. But when a permanent refusal banned the Kanks from touring the United States between 1965 and 1969, Davids began to focus his songwriting on more British films, British, British themes, resulting in uh, albums such as the At Grillage Green Preservation Society, and after the decline and fall of the British Empire, where that one was released in 69. Following the lifting of the band, uh, he then returned to the US with the Kinks, and uh, they released the country-tinged uh, rock album Muswell Hillbillies in 1971. And this explored the influence of American culture on his North London uh, upbringing. Extensive tours to North America in the late 70s and early 80s maintained Davis's link to the US. And he also briefly lived in New York City during that era. But following the breakout of the Kinks in the 90s, Davis settled in New Orleans. And in 2013, he published his memoir, Americana, The Kinks, The Road and The Perfect Riff. Looking back on these experiences and his complex relationship with America. And now to this album, Americana. Now, I was going to do a brief review for this, select five tracks out, but oh, I'm sorry, I got so into this, I'm going to go through the complete track list. Bear with me, this is a five-star album. Americana, then. I, I firstly want to say that uh, uh, Ray got a, an American band in uh, to record these tracks, called the Jayhawks, uh, and uh, there was, there's a slide at the uh, back of the end of this video with the details of the members of that. But uh, I have to say, they were absolutely superb throughout the, all of these songs, and a great uh, addition to, uh, that enabled really Ray to really uh, be as flamboyant as he wants, and he knew he had a guaranteed great American band supporting him. So to the opener, Americana, jangly rock soothing harmonies and orchestral country arrangements on this. It's a beautiful start. And it's uh, basically uh, uh, lyrically raised uh, expression of love for the, uh, the US. Holland, Hollywood romantic dreams drenched in nostalgia. And I love the 12 string guitar. Uh, next up is The Deal. This is a tongue-in-cheek song about the glitz of L.A. Uh, living anonymously in London, however. The music is easy pop. It's a dig at the glamour trip. The chatter at the outro, the small talk is a highlight. The piano tiptoes toes through the song. And musically, it's slower than the first track, but it's more anglified. Uh, London uh, sing-along 60s pop art style. Yeah, there's some great uh, female harmonies at the outro and there's also the spoken word comedic uh, comment. Track 3's poetry. There's a lovely do 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 chorus that typifies the easy feel of this jangled filled uh, shalala 60s type sound with that occasional guitar flash uh, the arrangements are just enough. It's a gentle dig at America's all-consuming society. And the, they have to have the best, the biggest, the richest, 
The music is very easy, easy listening. Davis' voice is mischievous as ever, and he reminds us of all those nostalgic moments. Four, Message from the Road. This is Good Time Gals, shared lead vocals with Karen Grotberg, a slow country ballad, the lyrics reminiscing about life on the road and away from a young family and missing them. Track five, A Place in Your Heart. This is a bluesy cowboy, honky country, jig type, American style. Uh, there's a sing-along country and western song in here with violins and lead vocals by Karen and spoken word and the second verse by Ray. He works very well with Karen Grotberg. Um, the chorus uh, knits beautifully with Ray's London sound. Lyrically, it's a song about living on the land, cowboys maybe, out in all weathers, and the hoedown to let your hair uh, down, and the cultural divide, the US versus uh, Britain, and the vastness of, uh, of it all in America. Next up is the mystery room. Uh, the harmonica smoulders with the guitar, which has got a very blue style here. And there's a clapping beat, then a piano that mixes with the rock beat, which fills the sound. There's a nice little guitar solo on here as well, but it's a back in the mix. A great smouldering rock blues sound, I felt. Lyrics like Ray reflecting on his impending mortality. Seven is Silent Movie. This is a spoken word by Ray, uh, but it's playing the song is somewhat ageless. And there's an image of black and white TVs that segues into the next track uh, as Ray talks of, of those ageless songs. The next track being Rock and Roll Cowboys. This is a beautiful acoustic folk song. Piano joins the plodding rhythm and the music the music lulls you into a sublime contentment. The guitars mesh nice and the, the nice lead touches as well. And the mandolin grips lovingly, lovingly with the rhythm. It's a nod to a lifestyle, certainly a cowboy lifestyle. And the music is pretty and powerful. It's a beautiful homage to that American cowboy. Next up is uh, Change for Change, track nine. Very stripped back this, uh, the vocals particularly, with snippets of piano and acoustic guitar. It's a folky blues really about being homeless and possibly uh, becoming a busker on the street or just plain begging. Number 10 and 11, these two tracks sort of knit together. Uh, the Man Upstairs is track 10 and this recounts uh, all day and all of the night that riff at the beginning before it morphs into the spoken word with a message on touring motels and hotel frictions and the possibility of difficulties with writing uh, whilst uh, on the road. The title of the song morphs and segues into I've heard that beat before. There, Here we get more folk with your blues and a touch of honky jazz as well. Ray on great vocal form. It's a masterclass in storytelling. The simplicity of an effort that catches a mood of character. Track 12 and I really love this one. A long drive home to Tarzana. It's a travel road trip song that hits the country notes. There's some soothing harmonies with guitars that sort of unify. It's all got a sort of beetle feel to it. It's soothing melodies and the guitar sound inspires that American dream. Is this atmospheric or what? It's got a beautiful lush sound. It's another romantic travel movie in the lyrics though, through Ray's gracious vocals. A song to bathe in the nice hot springs, I felt. And then we move to track 13, The Great Highway. This is chunky, more up-tempo King style with extravagant guitar solos towards the outro. Great images in David's, Davies' lyrics at the back end where we hear him describe 
uh, the perfection in ads and in the people in the dream. Total track 14, The Invaders. Uh, rolling guitars chime away with a Louisiana feel. The accordion, I think, creeps in uh, to a shanty mandolin type sound. The lyrics, I think, refer to the British music invasion of the 60s and possibly uh, a reference to that ban uh, by the American authorities on the kinks. Uh, and it also indicates about the free America not necessarily being not necessarily being that free as they couldn't really handle the rebels from uh, Britain. And so to the final track, A Wings of Fantasy, there's a 50s-style bass with some uplin, uplifting um, sounds. Uh, the rhythm of the 60s is highlighted here, and it's got a lazy pop-rock beat that delights in its simplicity. Uh, Davis is really a treasure on this and all of the record. And I must again uh, point out how vital the input of the Jayhawks were throughout this album. So uh, if you're a Kinks fan, you'll love it. If you were too young to enjoy the Kinks, but you like uh, Americana style music, then jump on this one and you'll get the benefit of an absolute icon uh, in Ray Davis. This is a five-star album and you really must get, uh, get along and listen to it.